Yeah, interesting. So with me, Jack Hart from the Freedom Association, a British group campaigning for first personal freedom and responsibility, and Lucy Brisbane, a student and journalist who objects to these groups and these websites. Uh, I mean, I can see that it's a bit kind of off to take someone's photo without their permission. But is it a big issue? It's a big issue when something like this begins to change people's behaviour, such as with the Women Eating on Tubes page, which led people like me to sort of think, oh, I don't actually want to eat on the tube in case these 20,000 people that like this page on Facebook are going to be out there taking my photo and putting it up on a page. I think there's a reason they don't ask your permission, because it's not for a positive reason. Yeah, and, uh, and I think you've had your own picnic uh, on the yeah. tube as a kind of protest, as sort of, you know, uh, to sort of poke some of these people in the eye a little bit and I think we can look at some of the uh, pictures uh, that you had yeah they there we go Are these some of your uh... yep some of the people coming along yeah we had a uh, quite a big turnout I think a lot of people feel quite strongly about this and we wanted to turn it around and make a sort of positive event that celebrated the sort of things that they were depicting as negative or or laughing at okay um, would you do, before I bring in Jack would you do anything about it what um, I think this is not a place for legislation. I think this is a place for us to start a conversation, which is why I didn't write some sort of scathing article in response. I wanted to start a conversation and talk to the people that want to upload these photos. Yeah, Jack, I, uh, would you agree with that? I actually would agree with that. I think one of our big concerns is this might end up being a catalyst so people feel entitled to call for more restrictions and more legislation and prevent people from taking photographs in public places. But don't you think there is something to be said for uh, privacy and that people have a right to that being protected? And if you say they have a right to have that protected, well, then legislation is the obvious solution. Well, legislation doesn't work in that sense. Are you going to expect the police to, you know, continually monitor social media and then try and assess whether every photograph that's on there has the person's consent when they're in it? We're better off having an adult conversation, talking to each other and actually understanding what we're OK with and what we find acceptable on social media. Yeah, I mean, I, do you think that something has changed in... Because everyone has got a phone which has got a camera facility on it, you don't have to pay for processing. That People are just doing that the whole time. I mean, I kind of sometimes think people go through life never experiencing anything except through taking a photo of whatever it is that's happening. Yeah, and I think this is a relatively new problem because never before have people had cameras on them all the time or access to thousands of people to share it with. So I think it's a new problem that we need to start talking about and dealing with in a social way, in a positive way, rather than making laws against it. But we need to definitely start a conversation that talks about this. See, I think one of the important things to remember is lots of the laws that govern how this work were written before social media was a thing, before, you know, camera phones were in existence. Therefore, we've got to be really careful about how we sort of look at a legislative framework to make it all work, because the last thing we want is people being prosecuted under old laws, but in the same sense, the last thing I'd really want is new laws, which are even more restrictive than the ones we have currently. But how do you get it into people's heads that, you know, the etiquette is just... And particularly when you're going to... I mean, I, you know, there have been a few times where, you know, because I'm on television or whatever, you, you, you know, I'm aware that people are, you know, with Google Glass, you're never going to be aware. People could be filming you all the time. See, I think this is one of the things, maybe looking at things like citizenship education in schools, actually having a conversation with young people before they start being out around with their phones, taking photographs of people, get them to understand what people are, you know, OK with and what, how society's happy with things like that. The, really, the last thing we want, though, is to have such restrictive rules that prevent people from doing what they want to do. Yeah, I mean, but do, 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 I mean, I don't know. Have you got friends who have taken photos? They've they've spotted a celebrity in a cafe mm -hmm. or wherever, and they thought, ooh. I think we all take photos all the time and I think it, it's kind of a new thing to start thinking about it and thinking about where that photo is going to be used, how it's going to be used and I think it's really important to address it as a problem. I've definitely taken photos of people before uh, but this has made me sort of start to think about it and start to think about whether that's okay. I just want to ask you one other thing Lucy, do you think there is a sort of sexual menacing side to this as well? Yeah, I mean I think there are a lot of pages, even worse than the Women Eating on Tubes page, sort of talking about it specifically women are often targeted but men are targeted too and I think it's a lot about shaming people and about bullying people without their knowledge of even them being discussed and there's definitely a sort of sexual element to it as you can see if but from the comments on the women eating on tubes page J Jack there's been a whole debate here on public figures and what the right to privacy is where do you think it extends where do, do you think that you know, someone walking down the street, there, sh there should be an absolute ban that newspapers should not be allowed to publish photos if you just happen to catch somebody out and about 
or you know, or they're in their garden or whatever. Well, no, because what really concerns me, if you have an absolute ban like that, is where does it go? Where does it end? At what point do you say that you can take photographs? It really is. I think we need to be sort of slightly more grown up about this and discuss, and also just accept socially when we think things are okay. It really is crazy to do. You know, okay, and we're going to stop it there because those hands are going and making me feel claustrophobic. They'll be coming <laughs> towards me all the way through that discussion. Both of you, thank you very much.